Hello and welcome. We now know what kind of layers exist in an application and how they can work together. However, this could mean that we are at the point of creating a Betty Blocks application ourselves. So let's first look into where do we start, what kind of information do we need, and what steps are we taking to get to our own working application. Step one, you have an idea. Start off by writing down what you would like to have in your application. What data does the application need to collect and what data do you want to show? And decide what kind of pages you would like to have within this application. An example would be that you would like to create a project management application. The application's data would be projects. It wants to collect project information. The projects can have tasks, so I want to collect task information. I would like to show a home page, a project page, and a page where you can create projects and even more. Step two. After you've written down your ID, we're going to prepare the environment we will be working in to develop our application. We're going to do this by creating the base of our application within the My Betty Blocks environment. After your Betty Blocks application has been generated, you can access the environment to start building. Step three. The next step is to visualize your ideas. We start by creating some pages with an appropriate design in the page builder. We do this to have a better idea of what we will need in the rest of our application or if we need to make some changes to our initial ID. After having created some pages in your application, you will now have a better idea of how you are going to display and collect data within the app. Step four, this is where the creation of the data model comes in. Here, we define the objects we handle in our application and what kind of properties each object has. An example would be that in a web shop, an item being sold is an object and its name and price are properties. Step five, after your data model has been created, we can go to our pages. Previously, we only created the look and feel of the application, but now that the data model has been added, we can start adding more functionalities to our pages by adding forms that collect data and data components that show data. Having added data to the pages of your application, you can now have a cool front end that can be displayed to the audience of your application. The only thing left to add is business logic. Step six. As the final step for the first version of the application, we can add actions to the application. This is to make sure that whenever a visitor changes something to the data or presses a button, actions are triggered to do whatever you have created them to do. After working through all of these steps, you will have finished your first application. You now have the option to use the application, extend it with more awesome features, and of course test it to see if everything works as intended. But this is something we'll get to later, because first let's dive into actually creating that application. You have the freedom to create your own application based on the amazing ideas you have, or you can click alongside with me in any of the learning paths we have to offer. Good luck developing.